five, four, four three, three two, three, uno. I <laughs> said dos. Uh, go. Go. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Mario 64 versus... <laughs> you should include the countdown there just because it was the stupidest thing ever. It was. Um, <laughs> in, in this episode, we are going to be doing a thing, and it's going to be called Losing and Winning. But who will be doing it is the question. So you better watch. It's the weirdest intro I've done. Uh, Mario Wings to the Sky. This one is not going to be fun, I can tell you right now. Uh, are you on the wing cap? Is that the wing cap? Uh, yeah, the wing cap. I have to, like, do that thing. No, 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 the, wi the wing cap level with the red coins. The, the, the red coins? Uh, no, no, I beat that one, remember? Okay, okay. I, I'm, I'm just going into the, um, the bomb battlefield one, where you just act like an idiot. That one. Uh-huh. I kind of like how the power bar is Mario's face all wooden. I've never noticed that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I, I, I think it was a pretty cool power bar. Although, I, I gotta say, Banjo-Kazooie's was better. Banjo-Kazooie's was better in everything. It was just honeycomb. It was boring. Uh, well, Donkey Kong 64 is them. You gotta admit, watermelons. Never played DK64. Of course you haven't. That's because you're you're just not man enough, I guess. It's oh, I drowned! Ever. You drowned? Okay, then. Ooh. That's scary. I've never drowned before. I don't. I don't really enjoy this eel star. Let's let's do facts about herself. I've never drowned before. How about you? <laughs> same. Oh wow, that's that's really nice to know. Actually, we're the same person. I know. It's just uncanny resemblances here. Mm-hmm. Uncandy. <laughs> that wasn't really funny. Because it didn't make any sense. Except that we were talking about Donkey Kong 64. And it makes, like, the, the, a little amount of sense. What? Because there's a character named Candy in Donkey Kong 64. I do not approve. You should, though. Candy? Because really? That just... Candy's good for you. Okay? That's just their way of appealing to children. Nah. Nah, dog. Naughty dog. <laughs> the next time you make that pun, I have a feeling it's gonna have a heart attack and die. It's so old. <laughs> nah, naughty dog. Nah, dog. <laughs> um. Okay, finally gonna get the star. Yay! Got that star. Now it's that stupid chain chomp one. <laughs> a, a, a stupid chain chomp one. It's worth mentioning uh, that none of us have seen each other's footage. As of this yeah, point, of we are recording all of this in one day. Any of us. The entire game, one day. <laughs> it's quite a feat. What am Actually, I playing? Tre treasure of the... Okay. Treasure of the okay. Okay, Corral. The okay arcana. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're kind of weird. I never noticed that before, but I know. I Look who, let's, let's just let's <laughs> start off. Just saying that about each other, because you're weird. You've already said you're weird. You're, already... <laughs> you're so weird. You're weird. Like oh my gosh. Ew. Like ew. <laughs> you got a kick out of that. I did, Jimmy Fallon. If you believe it. Regardless, hi everybody and welcome back to Super Mario 64 versus. I'm winning. And I am losing. Uh, today. It's almost like we said our names like that. That's just become our identity. Sadly. Yeah. You know, this it's time for the shameless plug of the series. If you haven't watched our verses of Super Mario Kart, whatever it's called. It's Mario, Mario Kart, Kart 64, 64. The one on the N64. On. You should totes watch it. You you probably should totes. But if if you don't if you don't like tote bags, then you can arcana watch it. Yeah. Or, or the, or the Arcana. Yeah, you should watch it. Link down in the description, maybe. Or on screen right now. No. Hi, annotation work for no, you. No, no, no. Well, maybe, what if there's half annotation there, though? No annotations. No annotations? I'm against what the about, annotations. What about an annotation saying no annotations? Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. Um, Just maybe dance. Next year. Just dance 15. What? 
I, I just felt like I need to That's not a game! Well, it will be someday, though. I'm just predicting the future. Someday, pe somebody from the future is going to come back and comment on this episode when it has 2 million views. And everybody's, like, going to see us on our gaming tours. Because we're so famous. Our gaming we're gonna, tours. We're going to go around the world playing video games for people. It's going to be the best thing ever. Are we now? Will you join me? <laughs> sure. Okay. What else? It's, you're just going to have to ask YOLO! <laughs> Ask your parents permission before you go on gaming tours. <laughs> because it's actually kind of a stupid idea, unless you, you know, you're famous in the first place. You yeah. probably should be famous before you go on the tour. Or you, you set yourself up for disappointment if you're not famous when you go on tour. Because nobody's going to come. Exactly. The thing. You know, I never understood this part in the game where um, water bubbles come down. What even? Is there like a giant... There's a cannon thing? up at the top of the mountain. That shoots water out. There is now. There's always been one. No, there's a giant that's drooling over you because he wants to eat you. I was a weird kid. Not gonna, not gonna deny that. Did you watch the, uh, the "Why I Was a Weird Kid" videos from Amazing Phil? Uh, no. Those are YouTube videos, yo. How come I can't kill this Koopa? Uh, come on. Mr. Koopa is dead now. It's good It's good to see him dead. For some reason. Don't know why I'm so morbid today. I just, I just feel I'm morbid. Either. You're not a morbid person, typically. No, 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 no. Mario, 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 Mario. <laughs> Thank like you. Trying to counsel him. Thank you. Mario, Mario, this is a good idea. Mario, you don't have to do this. <laughs> There's other ways, Mario. Yeah. Totes. Um, red Don't coins on the ship afloat has been completed. I was just the coolest jump I have ever pulled off in my entire life. Uh, I'm gonna kill what star players. are you on? Uh, the 100, uh, not the, uh, uh, yeah, yes, it is the 100 red coin. No, the, pff, yeah, the 100 red 100 coins. 100 red mission. coins. Gosh, yeah. that'd be terrible. What it's, am I on? It's really hard. Blast of the stone pillar. Dang it, what am I doing? I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh, that one in the DS, I can't remember if it is in the 64 or not, but that one is just impossible in Jolly Rogers. Well, I'm okay. doing it, so it is it is in the 64 version. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm, is it impossible in the 64 version? Or not fairly. Case? Oh, my gosh. Cause no, it's not. Was... What you do is there are, there are, like, two pillars yeah. that you can see in the distance. You aim for the... Uh, the the one to the farthest left, and then you get it so it's kind of just barely visible on screen. Okay. Like you get, I would say on my TV it's like maybe three inches of the pillar visible, but your TV is different than mine, obviously, since yeah. you're playing on a computer. But would it actually have like a different? It would still be the same though. No, because well, I mean, it's stretched for my TV, because my TV's like 24 inches. Okay, you just said, you just read in inches, though. And I never do that. Because I don't know You leave, like, basically you can, I think it's where, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. You just aim a little bit above it. Okay. It's not incredibly difficult. I had so much trouble with that in the DS version. Maybe it was harder, or maybe not, I don't know. I, I can't I, get this one-up mushroom. I don't remember if it was difficult or not in the DS. I thought you didn't play the DS. I own it. I played through Jolly Rogers Day, I think. Hmm. I don't like the DS one. It doesn't control very well, in my opinion. Especially since what you're using think? a D-pad. stupid. Well, that's because of the DS. Uh, uh, uh. It's pretty good. I got, like, half the letter in there. No, half the letter. What is wrong with me today? Why, why am so I not So many things. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> so many things. Uh, all right, I'm running away, and um, I'm I'm going. I'm running away from home. That's that came out right. <laughs> Good. I just, I just can't take it anymore. I'm just running away, okay? Okay. You need to persevere. Persevere. Things things are going to get better at home. Your your dog is not going to bite you anymore. Has, you, has your dog ever bitten you? Nope. I want that dog. It's like, it sounds like the best dog ever. It is. It. She is. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't about to let you call your dog an it. 
you know, dogs are people too. We should start that as our next campaign. We've already done trees. Trees are, are people. people too. Which what that took off, man. I mean, we had the whole country in tears. <laughs> and we, we, across the sea, we were getting people like talking about how trees are people too. Yeah. We started a revolution. You say you want a revolution. I didn't say that. No, no, no. That's that's a, a, a Beatles. Beatles. The Beatles wanted a revolution, obviously. Well, they made one. That's for sure. The British invasion. Those red coats coming in though. Yeah, the British invasion is just their attack on the music industry. After yeah, after like we the, became our own country. <laughs> it's like the second British invasion. Yeah. Because the first one, first one was a little more violent actually. The first one was like the War of 1812 or something. Uh, no, that was the Revolutionary War, wasn't it? That I mean, I I mean, I'm sounding stupid stupid here, because we're not making sense to each other, not because we don't know our history, you guys. No, I do believe the War of 1812 had something to do with Mexico. I don't think so. Pretty sure the War of 1812 was England. I don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna use lightly light terms that world his that world history buffs will just be angry at me about for using. But I'm pretty sure it was basically England was, they wanted payback after the revolution and they came back and attacked. And there was something about like controlling the Mississippi or something in it. I don't know, it's been a long time since we've yeah, talked I, about War of 1812. I just read War of 1812 two days ago, so. I, I was, it, I, maybe I'm getting it mixed up, but there was something to do because I read like 50, not 50, but 30 pages in one day. And then I kept like. The war with Mexico was, I don't even know. I'm not sure, actually. It's just the most confusing thing is the thing. It kind of is. About that thing. Yeah. So many things. Thingception. Right. <laughs> Thingception. We need some deception in this Let's Play. Because we gotta admit, we, we don't. We haven't had any deception yet. Mario we definitely. We're both playing Mario. Oh, Marioception! Episode name. Just no. to bring back good memories. Nah. Nah, dog. Naughty dog. <laughs> oh, you probably shouldn't. I should not. Um, I'm about to... I have 95 coins, by the way. Okay, Just... sweet. I have 78 in Jolly Rogers Bay. That is pretty cool. It is. I, I'm pro. I applaud you on that. So pro MLG. I don't even know what to say. No, Mr. Redcoin. You're gonna be that dude. You're gonna be that dude. It's gonna be. Is... Can you tell that dude to not be that dude? Don't be that dude, dude. Okay, maybe now it'll let me get it. I'll tell you how that went, actually. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna just like take a take a chance, make a risk, and enjoy myself by sliding down a hill. And, oh no, I just thought of something. That makes the star go on the impossible hill. And, oh, I just got two stars at once. I bet that's never happened to you. It has. You, you've gotten two stars at once. Mm-hmm. Jealous. A little bit. But not a lot. Just a little bit. Finally lost my wing cap. Anyway, the red coin did stop being that dude. Okay. Cool, cool mountain. Oh, no. I don't know this That's, level. It's not cool, cool. I just finished up a bomb battlefield, which means I am done with that, and I get to finally move on to the bay. So happy. The Hudson just... or Jolly Rogers? Uh, San Francisco. One. Oh. San Francisco Bay, you know. What is the first star? <laughs> Slip sliding away. Uh, that's probably the one where you race that penguin dude. No, I think that's the one where you just go down the slide. I hate this slide with a passion. The slide levels, though. The slide sucks so much. Don't say that about the slide. I'm sorry. I, I strongly dislike the slide. It's not my friend. All right. Plunder in the sunken ship. So excited for this. Not really, though. It is, it is kind of hard to swim in this game. I'm scared. I'm yeah, so you, scared you should that. be. 
The thing, the thing about this, I want to talk about a glitch in this game. In especially, it's it's extremely prominent in the desert level. Um, uh, Shifting Sandland, I believe it's called. Yeah, um, Shifting Sandland. If you get down to one health, your air meter and your health meter are exactly the same. So if you dive into the water when you're at one health and then come back out, you will regain full health. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, I was talking to the viewer. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna now, say I've already you... used that trick a few oh, times. You have. Yeah. Okay. How do you how do you get the plunder in the sunken ship though? You get the eel out. I just get hit by the eel and then swim up to the surface and go back down. Okay. Just get hit by him. Just. Oh, but man. Oh. You can get up you... there if you spam it. If you have just two. Or I just three. Uh, I'm spamming it. I have. Your one. controller now, is so loud. This is gonna be close. Oh, I got it. I got it. Your controller is so loud. Just tell your controller to calm its facial regions. Calm your facial regions. We need to record Max just once and him say that so we can use that throughout the episode in editing. <laughs> exactly. Just when one of us freak out, we just have a picture of Max appear on screen. Calm, calm your, facial, your regions. facial regions. That's right. I might have done this, like, horribly. I probably did, in fact. One... Two, three, four. How did I get all those on my first try, though? How did I get all those on my first try? Because we're the same person, obviously. Now what do you do? I'm scared. You, you, you go up to the top, and there's a box that you break open for the star. Now, if you... Here's a tip. If you ground pound the moment you, like, hit the box... What you can do is you can actually, um, what is it? <laughs> like, if you ground pound the moment you get the box, while you're ground pounding, you will pick up the star. So you don't have to jump again. It's a little mini shortcut. <laughs> oh, awesome. I did it. That's yeah, I awesome. did that a couple times. That's, that is the smallest shortcut that all the speedrunners must use because they're dudes. Yep. Gracias to Super Genius. <laughs> Found that He's out from his Let's Play. He is a genius. He he uh, he uh glitched the heck out of Mario 64 in his Let's Play to, to go fast. It was weird, especially Hazy Maze Cave. I, I could see a lot of room for glitches in that game, actually. I mean, that level. Yeah. What is the third one here? We got probably about two minutes left. One minute still. Actually, actually, you're probably right. Um, now, can Eel come out to play? What do you do here? Um, there's like a cave in the bottom. Uh, kind of on like the side of the mountain where the Eel is. And what you have to do is you have to uh, like, you have to lure him out of his cave by getting close. Don't get hit and stay near enough to his cave that he'll continue coming all the way out of it. Can you come out to play? Can you come out to play, Eel? Ah! Ah! That, no, that, that no, dude no, no, is no. huge! Yeah, it's a big Eel. So now he's now that he roared at me, is he going to come out to play? Mm-hmm. And then I swim in his cave. Basically. I'm not sure this is a good idea. I think this, in fact... No, I no, no, no. He, he has a, he has a tr uh, star on his tail that you have to touch. But this is an even stupider idea. So he roared at me, and then he went back in. You have to stay near him when he roars yeah, at you. It. Now he's coming out. There you are, big buddy. I see you. Now you're going to give me that star on your tail, aren't you? Okay, I have, like... Oh, no, he killed me. <laughs> no, really? Really? Okay, I guess I'm going to get that star next time. You can go oh. again. I'm in the middle of the big penguin race. Oh, that big penguin race, though. I hate. I gotta get this the fast. Then. Big penguin race. There we go. I completed it. But go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Doesn't matter. You know what? We can go a little over. Doesn't matter. It's just gonna be fine. We've gone a little over every single time. So. You know what? Nobody's mom is gonna get mad at this. For the most part. Someone's might. Post a comment if your mom gets mad at this. Cause like I know there are all these little kids that are trying to. Their mom are trying to get them to go to bed. You see. And they want to, they say, Mom, I want to finish the video, Flash and Loomis. <laughs> and it says, okay. And it's like, how long are they usually? 20 minutes? Okay. <laughs> Stupid.
do for this thing. That's not a good idea. I actually do that all the time. When it's like time for me to pretty much go to bed. I'm like, I'm, can I stay up and finish watching this video? So your mom and dad still are like keep tabs on when you go to bed. Like, not that that's a bad thing. Um, I'm supposed to go to bed at like 11.30 every night. Wow. So. I, if, I've been going to bed all at 11.30 the past couple nights, but I feel like junk the next day when I do. You see, I'm used to surviving on little amounts of sleep, so my body does not really protest. So your body's like, it's always ready. Basically, yeah. Thanks, Reggie, for creating that term, by the way. No, I died. Did you get that star? I'm chasing him for it right now. It could get it or it could not. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I'm going to run out of air. If I run out of air here, this episode could be the whole let's play. I got the star, but I didn't. So, you see... I did a headbang. My headphones fell off. Did you get the star? No. I swam right through it, but I didn't get it. Watch that footage. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel as well as his. There could be subscribes all around. And we are going to see you next time. I'm going to give Loomis the last word here. Here you go. Bye. Okay, thanks for saying the last word. Bye, Lumatopians.